Hey guys, Afro here, and welcome back to another episode, another video from my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the chemical coordination in humans from Edexo International GCSC Edexo Biology Chapter Seven, and let's get on with it. So there are basic things you guys should be knowing about the chemical coordination. Well, basically where it all comes to, comes from the endocrine system so chemical coordination is used to control the body this is done by the hormones in our body which is secreted by specific glands so hormones are secreted to the body by special endocrine glands and is carried throughout the body most common examples are insulin adrenaline glucagon antidiuretic hormone testosterone progesterone and estrogen so you guys can pause the video and take notes if you guys want to so I'll be just continuing and you can do as you wish so the endocrine system this is another thing you guys should know the second system endocrine system is the second system that controls your body the con controls the internal environment of your body basically yeah so that's the antidiuretic hormone that's what it does um, yeah so endocrine glands make hormones that are released to the blood these hormones are carried along the bloodstream to a target organ that they affect. These hormones act as chemical coordinators. So that's how all co it comes. I mean, all of these come together. So, so this is the endocrine system. I mean, the basic things we are going to be learning about the pituitary gland, which you could find close to the hypothalamus in your brain, and the thyroid in your neck, close to your neck and to your chest area and the pancreas it's uh, below your kidneys i mean i mean your liver not your kidneys and adrenals are above your kidneys just so glands hormones and their function you guys can take this table down if you want to take it down so the glands pituitary gland and it secretes antidiuretic hormone controls the water content in your body pancreas secretes insulin and glucagon lowers the I mean the insulin lowers the blood glucose level glucagon raises the blood glucose level and the adrenal glands which secretes adrenaline prepares the body for any danger physical active situation ovaries secrete estrogen which controls the de development of female secondary sexual characteristics and progesterone which regulate, regulates the menstrual cycle and testis this secrete the testosterone which develop which develops male secondary sexual characteristics and involves in the production of sperms you guys can take this table down it's really important and i'm sure it will be asked by the exam papers so this is one of the main uh, hormone we are going to be learning about in IGCS level in edXL thing so this and the there are three specifically given in our uh, in the textbooks which is the adrenaline which are these three hormones adrenaline uh, insulin and glucagon so we are going to be learning about these three in detail so adrenal glands produce adrenaline when you are scared excited or even when you are angry adrenaline prepares your body for action this is achieved by doing certain changes to your body such as increasing the breath rate, breathing rate and depth which think about it for a while so if you breathe a lot what happens you take more in, more oxygen in your body and exhale more carbon dioxide which means more blood is given to your body for your cells for more cell respiration so more activeness of your muscles so muscle cells and all those stuff so more respiration takes place and increases heart rate so the second point which increases your heart rate so think of think about that for a second if there are more there's more heart rate it means more blood supply for your cells so more food is supplied and more glucose which means food more glucose and more oxygen is supplied to your cells which means you get more i mean more respiration occurs so that's what i was saying and more blood supply to the muscles well basically when we are normally still and relaxed most of our blood supply goes to a digestive system and when adrenaline is secreted when in these type of situations 
then your body transfers most of the blood to your muscles to make you get ready and to escape these type of situations and glucagon stored in liver is converted to glucose and transported so this also allows your body to do more respiration as if your body is in lack of glucose this is a good method of giving glucose to your body and speed of reaction mental awareness increases so as you guys know if you ever got angry you and if you got excited or something in case you were playing a game of basketball and then you were driving in this has happened to me so I was driving in with my ball and then I suddenly felt everything slow I could basically see everyone moving like really slow so that's because my mental awareness increased and adrenaline was secreted I realized then so also your pupils dilate which allows you to see more clearly clearly and allows you to get more vision which also increases your chance of surviving the situation in other organisms not in humans because we don't have body hair I mean not that much of big body hair like these cats, dogs, lions, tigers and all them, all of them. Body hair stands making them look bigger in a way to scare their predators off so they can escape, I mean live longer. And this is the insulin and glucagon cycle, I mean, I mean this is the shortened form of how, uh, of a method to learn about the where your pancreas pancreas secretes the glucagon and when it secretes secretes insulin so if you look at this picture you could see that when you exercise right over here when you exercise then there's in the left side over here when you exercise there's a decrease in blood sugar so the pancreas pan don't think about these things these are not in your syllables yet so you could just say that the pancreas secretes glucagon and this glucagon travels through the bloodstream to the liver and this glucagon breaks down glycogen to glucose glucose and again the blood sugar level rises if as this happens and also when you eat your blood sugar level rises these green dots are the blood I mean the sugar particles just think of that and when the blood sugar level increases the pancreas again secretes insulin this time insulin not glucagon and these cells you don't have to know all these cells you can just say that these cells take up the glucose they absorb it and store it as the fat so and then again the blood sugar level decreases this keeps on continuing and this is the insulin and the glycogen cycle it's really easy to remember so I actually I would advise you all to pause the video and draw this picture like a short short method and paste it on your wall so you can see it so we have almost come to the end so this is the final thing we are going to be learning it's the diabetes diabetes is a condition with abnormally high levels of sugar glucose level in your in the blood absence or insufficient production of insulin or inability of the body to properly use insulin causes diabetes so this would cause your body to I uh, it's like a disease where more if uh, more sugar levels is in your body so this could even cause you for de dehydration a method of knowing that you have diabetes is that you constantly go to the washroom you constantly I mean also your urine will contain your urine will contain sugar and this stuff are really not good for you this can also lead in death so thank you guys for watching we have come to the end and see you guys soon in the chapter of the nervous system so we'll be seeing soon and sorry for not posting videos for a long time make sure you subscribe because more videos are coming and give me a thumbs up and tell me 
how this video went today because the last previous video I posted was not that good I didn't really like it I, I had a cringy feeling about it so thank you for watching see you guys in the next video as always peace Alpha Rumps out